Hello everybody, so today's video is gonna be a eyeshadow palette kind of eye look video where I'm gonna be using the Soph X Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette to do a eyeshadow look on my eyes. I am obsessed with this palette. It is definitely within my top two. I love it. I was so excited to get it. My friend Steph got me it for Christmas, so thanks Steph for getting me this. And I literally use it all the time, like so, so often. And I just wanted to do an eyeshadow look on my channel using this because I haven't actually done that yet. So that's what's gonna be today's video. Also, this is my bathroom, just to let you know. If it's a little bit echoey, I am not gonna be remaining in here for too much longer after my exams, I will find a different background, don't worry. But without further ado, let's go. So just a little bit of background information about this palette. Um, makeup Revolution came out with this palette. They are now called Revolution. They dropped the makeup, so um, they're just Revolution now. But it was in collaboration with Soph Does Nails. Soph Does Nails is a YouTube channel. I'll link her channel in the description, but I'm sure you've already heard of it. And this was £10, so a very decent price for what you get. It comes with a little sheet to show you the names, which are really cool. I always like it when they've got names. Um, and then these are the shades. Doesn't this just look so appealing? I love the different array of colours. There's just so much to choose from and you have all your base shades. You can really start from the beginning and work your way up to something very dramatic. There's literally something in here for every kind of different look that you would want to do. Today, I'm gonna go for something kind of like pinky slash bluey. You're gonna see, probably you already know from the thumbnail, but I'm gonna go for something that I do actually quite a lot. I would say I'm not adventurous with my eyeshadow, but I love to try different things and I love to experiment with loads of different colors. I've used every single color in this palette. I think the ones I don't use as much are these gold ones here, um, but I do use all of the others. And yeah, especially the green and blue here, and I'm gonna be using this blue one here today. So, I'm gonna use quite a lot, don't judge me. I like to just mix them all together. So let's bring you in a little bit closer and see what we can do. I will be filming loads of other looks using this palette using different colors, because obviously today I won't be using them all, um, but we'll see. So I'm gonna begin by taking the shade Penguin, this little white shade here, just a base shade, and I'm just gonna pop that over my lid just as a complete base and all the way up to the eyebrow. I usually do eyeshadow before my eyebrows, by the way, if you're wondering, but I've done my eyebrows today. And yes, I know my eyebrows look a little bit bold and dark, but when I'm doing my eyebrows on camera, because I was in a previous video, um, it's a little bit of a struggle to get them right, okay? So they're not usually this mad, okay? What the heck? I'm patchy. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the shade Pancakes, which is just the one next to it. This is just a kind of another base shade. It's a little bit more creamy tone, so it's a little bit more kind of suits your eye color. And I like to just pop this on because I enjoy it and it just kind of suits your eyelid a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take a mixture of the shades Iced Coffee and Cup of Tea. So these two here, Iced Coffee, Cup of Tea. I'm gonna take a mixture of those two and I'm gonna pop that in my crease. Like this. This is a transition shade. You should always use transition shades. It just makes everything else in the eye look kind of blend together. And I tend to take my transition quite high. I'm not amazing at eyeshadow, but my skills have improved, or my abilities, not my skills, it's not like I have any skills at all, but my abilities have improved. Okay, so I'm now gonna take the shades Tiramisu and Pug. Oh, Pug! I'm gonna take both of those, um, and I'm just gonna kind of work those a little bit more into the crease rather than taking it up. So it's gonna be a little bit more focused in the actual crease and it just defines it a little bit more. When you do an eyeshadow, it's all about the subtle hints of definition. It's not about kind of going in with one color. If you build it up with loads of colors, it just looks so much more seamless. Obviously, if you don't have time for that, then just whack one color on. But I love the art of eyeshadow. I just love mixing loads of colors together. It's like doing a painting, it's fun. So I'm now gonna take the shades 
mug cake and rosewood so i'm going to just take a little bit of those two because they are quite dark and i'm just going to pop those in the crease very subtly right in the outer corner so i'm not going to take it kind of on the inner part i'm going to focus it on the outer part just to define that a little bit more so you can see it's more defined than on this side I often find that my left eye, which is this one to me, um, is a lot nicer than my other eye, like when I'm doing eyeshadow. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's in my head or what, but I just prefer it. So now we're going to go in with the main event. This is basically what I always do as kind of transition, as base for any kind of eyeshadow look. I'm now going to go in with the main colour and it is called Petrol and this is certainly the correct name for this one. This is an amazing colour. I'm going to try and swatch it for you but look at that. That is just on another level. Look at that. Look at that colour. Where can we swatch that? When you put it on it's kind of blue but it reflects like a pinky colour. Look at that. It's blue and then look as it turns to the side it's like red, blue, red blue red and that is why it's called petrol because it reflects so when it's on your lid from an angle it looks blue and then from another angle it looks kind of like a ready color i love that so i'm just going to take this kind of flat brush here and i'm just going to whack that on don't be afraid of the pigment i don't like to put too much on in one go because it does have a little bit of fallout I'm just going to build that up a little bit more. The other side. Obviously you can build up the intensity if you want to kind of your desired level. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, it can be darker or it can be lighter. This is just personally what I like. Oh God, got a little bit here. Go away. Where did you come from, mate? Where did you come from? Georgia came from the eyeshadow palette. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Now that's done. Nice kind of bluey reflecting purple shade. I'm now going to just take my brush from before and I'm just going to kind of blend that in a little bit. Just kind of buff out the edges. It almost like just blend it in with the transition just to make sure it's a little bit more seamless. And then to really emphasize the pink color, I'm going to take the shade danger which is this kind of ready one here which is really nice and i'm just going to pop a bit of that kind of in the crease and transition so i'm just going to kind of buff that out slightly and then the other side and it just emphasizes the pink that comes through in that kind of petroly color and then I'm going to take the shade Pumpkin, which is this kind of ready one here. I don't really know why it's called Pumpkin, because it's not orange or anything. And I'm just going to take that a little bit higher, just to kind of really bring out the red. Like this. And then to fluff out the edges, I'm going to take the shade Cloudberry, which is this orange one. And I'm just going to kind of buff out the edges a little bit with a really kind of light pale shade just to blend. Now underneath on the lower lash line, um, oh, oh yeah, it's here. I'm gonna take the shade Danger and I'm also gonna take the shade Pumpkin. So I'm gonna kind of mix those together and pop that under my lash line. It's quite powerful, but I love the way it looks. And now we've done that, I'm now going to just blend it all out using a clean blending brush. So this is clean and we just kind of buff out the edges like so. And I know it blends up to the brow bone, but you know, that's how I like it. So don't hate me for it. If you don't, then don't do that. Obs. Now for a little bit of highlight, um, actually I don't have my highlight brush, never mind. I don't have my highlighter brush so I'm just going to kind of make this brush clean. Um, but I'm going to take the shade Fairy Lights which is this shimmery one here. I'm just going to take that one um, and I'm just going to kind of pop a little bit of that on the inner corner. And also on the brow bone. 
like this, just a little bit of something. Now I'm gonna add some mascara, and I'm using my Miss Lynn Volume Mascara. Love this mascara. Oh yeah, this is the swatches here for um, Danger. This is the swatch for Pumpkin, and this is the swatch for Cloudberry. It's very volumizing, which is nice. But I'm not gonna put too much on, I'm just gonna put quite a thin coat on. Little bit of setting spray. I'm gonna use the Collection Primed and Ready setting spray. Love this one, it's matte. Oh my God, my eyes. It's de that has definitely got alcohol in it. Quite a lot of setting sprays do have alcohol in it, um, but you can't usually smell it, but in that you can smell the alcohol, I tell you now. So this here is the finished eyeshadow look. I um, I go for this quite a lot. It's kind of like bluey with a hint of red and kind of fire. Um, I love this look and yeah, it's just a look using the palette. I know I use loads of the shades, but I like to kind of treat it as if it's a painting and just mix everything together. It's so much fun, love it. If you haven't got that eyeshadow palette and you want it, go and get it. It's 10 pounds, it's really, really good well worth the money, pigmentation is amazing and I'm obsessed with it. I, I literally couldn't hype about that product enough. Um, so give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I will have more coming up soon with the different shades in there and also using some of my other eyeshadow palettes. Um, so if you wanna see some more, give the video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.